The common cold. Odds are you've dealt with this sore throat, coughing, head full of concrete, nose dripping seasonal affliction before. But do you really know what it is? Colds are caused by viruses. Viruses are composed of two parts. A nucleic acid, either DNA or RNA, which gives the virus all the instructions it needs, and a protein coat or shell. Now what a virus really wants to do is make more viruses, but it lacks the replication mechanisms it needs to do so. This is like having the blueprints for a house, but lacking wood, nails, and most importantly, a hammer. You're not gonna get too far. So when a virus enters a host cell, it hijacks the cell's replication mechanisms and forces it to replicate not only its nucleic acids, but also to make more copies of its protein shell. These will join together to make new viruses and will eventually burst out of the host cell and go on to infect other cells. There are lots of different kinds of viruses and they can have a whole range of effects on your health, but thankfully the cold virus is pretty benign. There are over 200 different viruses implicated in causing the common cold. The most common of these viruses are known as the rhinoviruses. This is a soap dispenser shaped like a rhinovirus. It resides in my bathroom. Most of the cold viruses are spread either by contact or through the air in tiny droplets released when you sneeze or cough. Now, if you notice, none of what I've said has anything to do with it being cold outside. Sure, you get colds more often when the temperatures start to drop, but that doesn't mean that the cold temperatures are causing your cold. Correlation does not imply causation. There are some ideas as to why you do start to get colds more often as it gets cold outside. One of these ideas is that the cold temperatures outside increases the number of people inside increasing the number of people that you sneeze on every day and speeding up transmission. Another idea is that the drier air, both from the weather outside and blasting heating systems inside, actually allows those little droplets that the viral particles travel in to stay in the air longer. And so of course the next question is how do you treat a cold? Well, because it's a viral, not a bacterial infection, antibiotics aren't going to do much for you. You can get over-the-counter cold medications which will relieve some of your symptoms but aren't really gonna defeat the virus itself. Mostly you've gotta give your immune system the best chance it's got to kick the virus itself. Lots of fluids and rest. Oh, and maybe wash your hands before you go near anyone. Go forth, do science.